This is Bukurali Bay, a body of water off the west coast of Prince of Wales Island. It's officially part of the state of Alaska. I am visiting in the little town of Craig, Alaska, and have come to see my brother. This is my fourth trip to Alaska, my second trip to Craig. I was here two years ago with my sisters for a grand four-sibling birthday party. I came to Alaska for the first time in 1967, now 50 years ago. I was then a young woman full of life and energy and wanting to make a difference. I had joined VISTA, Volunteers in Service to America, right out of college and was assigned to Good News Bay, an Eskimo village of fewer than 200 people on Alaska's west coast, just north of the Aleutian chain. It was about as far from where I'm now standing as one could be and still be in Alaska. Village leaders had requested the services of VISTA volunteers to assist in, in improving village conditions, teach some adult education, develop an unfunded Head Start type program, and buy our presence to reduce the villagers' fear of white people. During the year I lived in Good News, I fell in love with the children, the strange terrain, and the quiet way of life. It seemed easy to pay attention there. When it was cold, it was really cold. When it was dark, it was really dark. When the stars came out, they were really bright. And when children laughed, it filled you up. There were many times I felt I could have stayed in Good News the rest of my life. But when my year was up and the choice was good news or home, my way led me back to Kansas. I did leave part of my heart behind when I left. In the blink of an eye, 50 years have somehow come and gone. I've had a good life, sandwiched between the Alaska I experienced in 1967 and the Alaska now in front of me in 2017. Over the years, I've written about the various adventures I've had, and this past year, I collected many of those po poems and essays and published them in a little book entitled Words in Rose, Poetry and Prose. It is light, easy, sometimes funny, sometimes wistful reading. The first story in the book is about my year in Good News Bay. For now, the eagles swoop, the waters move, day comes and goes. Such are all our stories. 